How's it going Guardian? Shifty here and I'm back with my weekly vendor video. If you've been around my channel for a while now, you know I like to show off all of the vendor armor and weapon rolls for the week. In this intro you'll see some in the background footage and in a moment I'm going to go over a few standout armor rolls for each class. Then I'm going to be talking about some decent banshee weapon rolls and at the end of the video I'm going to show off the remaining rolls for the week. As I always mention, the armor is more for newer players or build crafters, but every once in a while there is a piece that might stand out to veteran players. Anyway, before I get into it, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, as usual, I'm going to start off with Warlocks. Zavala is selling leg armor with 30 resilience, 13 discipline, and 11 strength. I know the recovery is low on this piece. However, if you have high recovery on your helmet, arms, and chest armor, this could be a good piece to increase that resilience for things like Grandmaster Nightfalls or PvP. There are certain resilience levels that help out against different weapon types in PvP, and in some Grandmaster Nightfalls, if your resilience is high enough, you can resist a sniper shot without any resist mods equipped. Then the Drifter is selling leg armor with 26 resilience and 16 intellect. This one is quite similar to the armor piece I just talked about. It has high resilience and decent intellect, but it is lacking in recovery again. Everything I said about that last piece kind of applies to this one as well. Well, that's it for Warlocks, now let's move on to Titans. The Drifter is selling chest armor with 30 mobility and 16 discipline. As you can see, the resilience and recovery are pretty low here. But again, if your other pieces of armor have high resilience and or recovery, this could be a good piece to add some mobility to your build. Mobility is kind of mixed for titans, I know there's some titans who love it and some titans who don't. In fact, there are some titans and warlocks who prefer low mobility. On the flip side to that, I did see a titan with 100 mobility in the crucible the other day, believe it or not. Up next, A to 1 is selling gauntlets with 19 recovery, 16 discipline, and 16 strength. While none of the stats here are pushing 30, it does have good recovery, discipline, and strength. Recovery is great because it allows you to heal faster, which lets you re-engage in both PvE and PvP. Then Discipline is tied to your grenade cooldown, and Strength is tied to your melee cooldown, so you'll get those two things faster. Now I want to move on to Hunters. Unfortunately, there isn't really any great pieces for you this week, so I decided to pick an honorable mention. Devrim K is selling Gauntlets with 20 Resilience, 15 Discipline, and 12 Intellect. I know it's not the greatest armor piece of all time, but it's also not the worst. Again, like the two Warlock pieces, I would only really recommend this if you already have high recovery and or mobility on your other pieces of armor and I guess I would recommend it to new players who don't have anything better yet. Now I want to move on to the Banshee weapons that are being sold. I do want to mention really quick that the Banshee weapon rolls will change at 7pm Central Time on Wednesday. If there are any notable roll changes, I will include those in a pinned comment down below. The first one I want to talk about is the Toil and Trouble Shotgun. The roll here is actually pretty decent for PvP. You can choose between Smoothbore and Full Choke in the first column, then you have Accurized Rounds in the second column. For the last two perks, you have Threat Detector which is pretty decent in 6v6 game modes, and then you have Auto Loading Holster which is great if you're aggressive because shotguns can take a while to reload. On top of all that, this does have a range masterwork. Then the 7th Seraph VY7 Submachine Gun Roll is pretty decent. I only really need to talk about the last two perks on this one, you have 4th Times a Charm and Feeding Frenzy. Both perks have to deal with ammo, the first one is going to give you extra ammo while shooting at the crit spot of say a tanky enemy, and Feeding Frenzy is going to allow you to reload that much faster if you're clearing out weak enemies. Also if you are hitting crits on those weak enemies, 4th times a charm will also activate, and in turn that will let you clear out more of the easy enemies, increasing your stack of Feeding Frenzy. And as a bonus, the 7th Seraph weapons can generate war mine cells. The final weapon I want to mention is the Last Perdition. We all know that reload perks and damage perks are pretty strong in Destiny 2, but if you really like passive perks, Under Pressure and Snapshot Sights are great options. Under Pressure will improve stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower, and Snapshot Sights will make this weapon feel better by giving you a faster aim down sight time. In addition to those passive perks, you also have a range masterwork. I don't always buy the weapons that I suggest in these videos because I already have a better role, but in this case I did buy the Toil and Trouble and the Last Perdition. I might play some PvP using both of those weapon rolls. Let me know if you want to see a video where I have highlights from that session. Alright, so now I'm going to show off the remaining rolls for the week if you want to stick around and check those out. Otherwise, I hope that you have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next one.